Hey folks, what is going on? Justin Masson here with Nintendo Dads, and hey, we've got Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown. Let's jump right into it. Let's do a little bit of a first look, a little bit of a let's play. Uh, man, I'm excited to jump into this, folks. Truth be told, uh, the day that we're recording this, I've been playing Prince of Persia for about a week now, uh, and I have been absolutely loving it. Now, I've already got a save file. We're going to see that in a couple moments from now. I'm going to tell you, I'm playing this game. I absolutely freaking love this game. I had an opportunity to play this game over at PAX West in September. I actually played with Adam Leonard from the Mega Dads. This was the first game I played at PAX West. Played it on the Nintendo Switch, and I was like, this game is awesome. I totally can't wait for this game to come out. And then Ubisoft was kind enough to provide us a review code. So big thanks to Ubisoft. Uh, they sent us that code over about a week ago. So we've been playing, I've been playing for a week. I'm going to be honest, this was a hotly contested code in the Nintendo Dads host community. Who was getting it? Uh, and being the guy that kind of controls the inbox, woo, that came in and I, I snagged it pretty fast. But I'm going to tell you, both uh, Tim was definitely chomping at the bit, and I know that Marty is uh, very interested as well. So let's jump into it. All right. Quick thing, Ubisoft Connect, great opportunity. If you haven't done that already, make sure you connect your Ubisoft Connect to it because you can get rewards in the game like a costume. Uh, I unlocked that as well. Also, I was provided the deluxe edition as well, so I do have some additional costumes. So I'll go into start game. So you can see already here, folks, uh, I have put 12 hours into this thing. I'm at 35%. Are, are you for real, right? 35%, 12 hours. The game's runtime is between, uh, <clears throat> sorry, 20 to 25 hours for main quests is sort of the information that we are provided from a review guide perspective. Um, that's tracking, that's tracking. But I'm gonna go to a new file so that you know what's going on here, all right? I'm gonna jump into a new one. Here's one of the things I love the most about this game. This is very cool. They have an exploration mode and a guided mode, all right? Exploration, it says here, hey. Minimal map information, choose the mode, and then guide it. It'll actually tell you like where the next objective is to go. I'm going to be really honest with you. I spent a fair chunk of the time in exploration mode, uh, and then I ended up moving to guided because I was like, where? what do I need to be looking for here? Um, so that was a great option. You can change it this at any time within the game as well. Um, I'm gonna, we're, Warrior is uh, standard, so we're going to go with that, and we're going to jump right into it. I am excited for people to finally be playing, like, for people to be playing the game and going to be talking about it, because I think people are going to really enjoy this game. The demo is out as well. It should be out, I think, the day that you're getting this video, because that's why our embargo is here. But let's jump into the, uh, the, in the game. Thirty years had passed. Decades without rain. The once fertile plains of farce had become as barren as the great A few arrow shots from Persepolis. The Kushans, bloodthirsty warriors from the east, were attacking Persia. Persian soldiers defended the land. No matter the cost. Ardashir resisted heroically, but his men fell one by one. Anahita summoned her remaining strength in battle. For Yuvishka, the Kushan general, victory History Ooh. took a different turn. Took a different turn. The seven immortals were the best warriors in the kingdom. One of them would become a legend. That's that's us. Yeah. Onward, immortals. All 
I like this kind of like this pop up, by the way, like the side pop and the dialogue that comes here. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Save Persepolis. I trained you for this. I will go help my wounded warriors. Right on, right on. Let's go, Sargon. Auto save, as you can see on the right hand corner. B is jump. A ZR is just kind of like a bit of a. Uh, uh, slide move is what I got going on there. Oh, yeah, they're. Sorry. There we go. Feel your guard. It's the rush of us. Combat always. Like, this, feel, this game feels great on combat. Uh, I will say that right now. No, oh, I would have thought he disappeared. So, for those of you that don't know, it is a Metroidvania. So, it does have, you know, elements where you are going to go to an area, you're not going to be able to get there because you need a certain skill or ability. You need to go back and find it. Um, <clears throat> it's... The exploration is, is, is pretty fantastic. Here we go, we got some... None of you will leave here alive. You've got a parry system available to you as well. This is just a simple Y combination for hit. We see up on the top left-hand corner is our, uh, our life bar. There we go. Hey, who's having all the fun? <laughs> so these other seven members here of the Immortals, you end up kind of hanging out with them and meeting them at different times, and, and they they end up supporting you and helping you. Auto-save again. There we go. We've got the, the run. Keep running, Sargon! We must eliminate those Kushan archers. Leave it to me! Great usage of, like, the foreground and background. So you can see, obviously, we've got the... On the background, we've got, uh... One of our, one of our teammates there who are just kind of... Disp dispatching of enemies as well. There we go. So, so there's a great use again. Two, it's a 2D game, but it gives much more depth and perception, or perspective with the game, which I think is fantastic. Yeah, combat feels great. Quick movements. Oh, oh, jeez, I don't have that move yet. Sorry. There's a move I keep thinking I have, but I don't have that yet, um, which is a handy move to have. One might say, when you jump in the air and you dash, is a handy move to have. Spoiler alert, that's going to come eventually. Well, there's obviously some people who are needing to be resolved. Oh, no, okay. Alright, there we go. That barrier is blocked, or er, unblocked now. Just going to keep running, running. I'm running, 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 running. <clears throat> Auto save is frequent, which is awesome. Especially in games... Okay, hold on, sorry. Especially in games where you do die, for sure. Like, there is... This is not to be... Like, it's... It's a difficult game. Uh, for sure. Like, there are challenges. And I will tell you later on in the game, and again, 13 hours into it, that the platforming later becomes difficult and becomes sort of, like, precise. And you have certain abilities that are needed to use at a specific time to... To move forward, right? Like, your skills and your abilities... Whoa! Uh, build as you are progressing, right? Which logically makes sense. Again, so we're saving again frequently, so if there are those, those times that you die. Goes yellow, just parry, so boom! These nice little cutscenes when you do a really great parry. The bosses also have, uh, the bat boss fights have those as well, like the big bads. Um, so those are also pretty cool to, to be able to accomplish that. Uh, it is interesting, like, Prince of Persia is not a game that I have much of a history with. I don't, actually, to be honest with you, I don't think I've played any Prince of Persia games. Here's the other really cool thing I like this about this is dialogue history. You can actually scroll back and see what was said. That's sort of a cool feature. Um, what did I just get taken? Oh, right. Healing Potion. 
And you can see that the top left-hand corner, if I just press up, boom, there we go. I get a, I drink a potion, which is fantastic. Good stuff. I find the VO work is pretty good too. Charge attack, so we just hold our Y. Boom. Oh, brutal, hey? By the way, there is a there is a little bit of a uh, violence, let's say, violence and blood. So viewer discretion is advised. The rush of our, was it? <laughs> Your life ends here. Not if yours ends first. I'm sorry, horsey. Again, I mean, just a little bit of like, you know, you learn a boss's combos. Oh, there we go. Get out of the way there. There we go. Oh. Shoot, I was thinking he was going to come this way. Oh, there we go. There. Yeah, so good block. Nice animation. Love it. He's off the horsey. I'm not going to use my heals yet because I don't think it's necessary. Oh, eh, we'll use him now because I don't want to don't want to die. There we go. And that was just a quick tap of the up on the D button, right? Pad, and we're good to go, which is awesome. Ugh. Boom! What do you got to say to that, huh? Huh? How do you like me now? How do you like me now? Death has come for you. Darn right it has. Don tootin' it has. The mighty Simurg, protector of Persia. And that's the end of the game. No, I'm just but kidding. Our enemies try to take advantage of the situation. They will soon find that the kingdom's bravest warriors will be their undoing. This game comes out on January 18th. I'm pretty certain a demo is going live on the 11th, which is when this embargo comes out, so you'll have an opportunity to play it as well. Like, jump in and play it. Years ago, also, it's coming on multiple different platforms, so if you're like, hey, I don't want to play it on Nintendo, there are other platforms for you to be able to, to play Today, it on, for sure. I, Tamiris, Queen of Persia, praise your valor and loyalty, immortals, Varun, you and your forces have once again saved the kingdom. Just as a statement as well regarding it, in handheld mode, it plays at 720 at 60 FPS, and docked, it's uh, 1080 at 60 FPS as well. Uh, so that's fantastic. It feels like it was built for the Switch and then kind of scaled up, if I'm being honest. Accept this royal sash as a token of our gratitude. Sargon, the Rashabar. The black wind that destroys all in his path. I didn't choose that name. It's quite the name, though. You need not worry. I do not attach any importance to these superstitions. The winds also carry the seeds of future harvests. I am truly glad to meet you, Sargon. Thank you, Princess San. <sighs> Let us drop the honorifics. And may we get to know each other in less formal circumstances. As you wish, as San. Okay. Got a royal sash. All right, that's cool. Be all right 
to you, Rebecca. I am glad you're on our side. Just watch out. The Rashabar is said to sow ruin and destruction. I do not believe such stories. That is all. Okay, we're gonna just wander around. Long live the house of Yeah, long live, okay. Do, 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 do. Your name brings hope to Persia and is feared by the enemy. Yeah. Okay. What a reputation. Maybe. I didn't ask to be prince either. But fate. Alright. Varan. We're somehow the only immortals left here. The others are probably letting loose up on the roof. Not all warriors belong in the throne. Join them, Sargon. All right, so we're gonna go find our warriors who are at the roof. Here's one of our warrior friends. I'm proud of you, Sargon. I defeated Yuvishka, and we did we? Thousands died on that. Persia is barely surviving. The Kashan will surely come back. Would you call that a victory? I. Let my pride go to my head. A warrior's journey is always one in progress. And when there's nothing left in one's path, the warrior wanders. What is at the end of my blade? I know. Found an answer yet? I won't figure that out tonight. Hmm. Maybe a drink will help. Thanks. But I have other matters. You have what it takes to become one of the great. I know. Okay. And listen to Varan. All right, let's go see if we can find our friends. Hey, it's our friends. What's up? <laughs> oh, that's nonsense. He, he took everything from his mom, that's all. Aura, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are really not her type. Whose type? Ah. The kid finally decided to join us. The hero of the day. I find this I find this really kind of um, one of the things that I noticed. So on this imagery, the eye patch is on the right hand side, right? We see that. He's sitting right there in front of us, kind of nodding. The eye patch is on the other side of the eye. Just note that. Okay, that's I find that interesting. <laughs> the queen's new protege. There's a little bit of a little bit of lack of uh, continuity there. Now, eh? All trading in your swords to become a satrap. Laugh all you want. Who eliminated a general tonight? Huh? This Don't guy did. Them, it just means you've impressed them. Yeah, he's right. All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna go talk more quietly. So, will you still remember us now that you're famous? <laughs> I'm trying to stay humble. And find what is at the end of my blade. Oh, sounds like Anahita set your head straight. Um, so you know, it is amazing what you did. I am pretty awesome. Be proud of yourself. One of our own eliminated the Kashan general. Outstanding. And you are the White Lion's pride. You ragtag bunch of immortals. <laughs> you are and with Sargon's bravery. That's another one for the history books. We made the city safe. The people are at peace again. This is cute, but our usual hogs has food and drinks on the house. Varum, you're coming with us. I wouldn't miss it. Varum, Prince Hassan has been kidnapped. I didn't know like who this person was, and all of a sudden they showed up. And I was like, what the? Take the lead, Saga. You may be the last to have spoken to him. Here we go. We must find Prince Hassan. His guards. Do to do, do do. Three of them, it almost seems unfair. Oh.
Okay, so this talks about like basically our, our charge ability. Hold Z, hold. There we go. So these are special abilities that you will gain and uh, use throughout the game. You can see the bottom right hand corner, the meter is, is increasing. And then you have the ability to use these at various points throughout, uh, definitely in battle. And some of them are, some of them are defensive, and some of them are offensive for sure. Um, and yeah, so you earn those kind of specials and abilities through throughout the game at different points. That on top of other abilities and skills that you unlock. So that's sort of like your special. And there becomes two different. There becomes different. Um, one is like ZL with Y and one is ZL with X. So there are times that you can actually have two different specials. So whether you want one that's maybe healing or maybe you want one that is more combat orientated, you can do that. And you can choose and set them as well, which is cool. What the hell was that? Uh, still a child. All right. So we can definitely tell that uh, there is something not going good with our team of immortals. <laughs> Yeah, so they're talking about the, Z the ZR as the dodge. Oh, got a pretty good little head bop there. feel bad for him like boom I came in like a wrecking ball dramatic pause Anita. what is going on Sargon who was it I thought I recognized Anahita is she involved yes she is without a doubt Baram gather your forces you are to leave for Mount Kaf at once in search of Prince Hassan. Ardashir and his soldiers are already on the way. We need all the help we can get. We will not fail you, Your Majesty. Bring him back. Bring and off we go. I cannot express to you like how much I have enjoyed playing this game for the last week. Um, it has sort of been like my my obsession. Like, and I know this is kind of a crazy statement. Twenty twenty four game of the year right now for sure. This game. Old Citadel. You're like, yes, it's three weeks in. That's a joke. All right, I get it. And a heater to Prince Hassan beyond these gates. I can't fathom why Anahita would do such a thing. Sargon. Best. What do you make of it? doesn't make sense. She has always been loyal. She wants to seize power for herself. Notice, notice how the eye patch is on the other side now, right? Okay? Oh man, I'm covering it up. Shoot, my video what was covering it up, but I promise you. The Simorg may have disappeared, but the mighty god used to live on Mount Carve, and perhaps still does. It has always been the Simorg who appoints future kings and queens. Hmm. Anahita probably wishes to receive the Simorg's blessing. But why kidnap Prince Hassan? She needs Okay, hold on a second. Hold on. There it is. See? See? It's on the other side. I'm not crazy. All right, I'll go back to the regular one. The gates to the Simorg temple only open for members of the royal family. She has lost her mind. She will never get the Simorg. We can't be certain. What? 
Princess of Mortals. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> Wait for me here. Nice, we got a new quest. Do we go this way at all? Anything this way? It's the old trick of let's always head to the right. Also, spoiler alert, you don't come back to that horse. At least in the four, 13 hours I've been playing the game, that horse is still <laughs> waiting there. It's a long wait for that horse. Load screens are pretty fast coming through as well. I could, you know, that was pretty fast load. Uh, I would also say that's another other thing I would say is like when you do die, you're jumping in back at it very quickly. Oh, sacred of mountains. Been here before? No, but I've read about it. This place was once religious. In astrology, geometry, algebra. All knowledge was gathered here. Except also, if you look at the model, uh, look at the model ahead of us. He has eye patches on the other side. I'm going to have to like take that as a photo as proof. Like, I'm not crazy. And Cuff was home to a great citadel of wisdom. And? What happened? No one survived to tell the tale. And to think that Prince Hassan is caught up in all this. Who knows what might... Okay, let's keep going. We're obviously setting the scene. I'll tell you, like, at the beginning, there is a fair bit of scene setting, right? Um, dialoguing. Um, and then we kind of jump into it. And then you are... You're in. Awesome. I love the background again, like... The floating statue going on there. What is oh, this there sorcery? Go. I'm a warrior, not as frozen as, as if time. I find there's also definitely some spots in the game where you are just sort of like running through scenes. Right, there's a great example of somewhere unblocked. Block there. So there is definitely, like, scenery that you run through. Can't reach that quite yet. Okay. And then there's, like, hey, and there's here's a scene of, of, you know, fighting. So I find that sometimes common in the game, but not a lot of it, just a couple times. But it does get you to admire, like, the, the design and gra uh, design work and the environmental work that's there. Let's proceed with caution. Sure, my Elias. You can scurry from shadow to shadow like frightened vermin. I'm serious, Orod. There's a strange presence here. I can feel it. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go then. the guy ahead of us is going to wake up real fast. Barum, this is Azad, one of Ardashir's men. Oh, maybe not. Long dead, judging by the rot. How is that possible? Not long before I... Welcome here. Stay on your guard. We will find the prince and Anahita. We go east. We don't go anywhere. You'll only slow me down. You're on your own. All right, we'll find them. We're on our own. I always find, like, skeletons coming back to life creepy. Let's do it.
Nice usage of the foreground, uh, the, that skeleton jumping in. I, it's one of the, I do, again, it, it's a 2D platformer, but it provides a great amount of uh, kind of depth with some of those things. You can see there's all of a sudden now these crystals on the top right-hand corner that I'm ga gathered. Ooh. Okay, can't get through there. So again, that's a, hey, I've got something that, you know, got to come back to that later. Uh, the crystal story in the right-hand corner. Uh, it takes a little bit to find out, but they end up being currency. Not a shock there. That you end up spending for, like, weapons upgrades and um, uh, amulets that are basically abilities and skills upgrades as well that can upgrade your life. So uh, weapons and also abilities and, and kind of like life upgrades too. So it's kind of cool. But, it, but I will, one of the things I did notice when I was playing the game is I was like, I didn't find that for a fair bit in. I was like, why am I collecting all these, you know, blue gems that don't seem to have any value? And then there's ones like that you can just find. Movement feels good. Uh, there's no fall damage either, which is nice. There's also these kind of tablets and pieces of artifacts that you end up finding, which is cool. Give you more information about what's going on in the game. There we go. Doo -doo -doo. Bye! Enjoy! So obviously looking over here, I'm gonna go that way. Let's go. Let's see if there's anywhere up I can go still. There we go, yeah, perfect. Doot, doot. Can't get up there yet. No, my jump doesn't quite work that, or can't bounce off that, so no. You can see a ledging over there. We'll slide down here. Block. Boom. Oh, yeah, and by the way, you have to be near them. The yellow ones uh, heal your life, which are great. There we go. Another block. I'm at full life, so they won't give me any more. Oh, now I'm not. There we go. We can see that, uh, that yeah, like, yellow kind of, like, leaves that are... That are Kind of providing me a direction. So you can kind of go through the... That. And what you're looking for are these. These are fantastic. These are your checkpoints. These are your saves. They are throughout the game. They also refill your life. And we're going to get a little information about it. What are you doing here? This place is too dangerous for a child. Don't worry about me. I know the Citadel better than anyone. I know every step. I even go... I've chatted and argued with every creature. And I know every tree here. Like this one. Are they all like this? These trees are special. They're called Wack Wack. Wack Wack. They have the purest of Athra. So, stand beneath its leaves to receive energy. There are many Wack Wack trees throughout Mount Car. Tell me, you say you know all here. We're in search of soldiers like us. Our prince is being led by an. Have you seen anyone like that? A prince? Well. If you've lost your friend in Mount Car, then you're going to need an Eye of the Wanderer. What's that? It's a very rare... There we go. So we have the Eye of the Wanderer, which is our map. Right? So here we go. Here is our first map system, and you can start to see places that you have been, obviously, and areas that are currently potentially blocked off as well. Uh, yeah. Here. I might as well show you a neat trick to remember places on Mount Car. This is super cool. Memory shards. This is like, what? This is sort of like changing the game in Metroidvania, I think. This is such a cool, cool feature. 
So, for example, there is a, up here, there is a box that I cannot reach, right? And so, memorizing where those places are, because, again, 13 hours into it, my map is massive and huge. Remembering those places that either I'm blocked or special areas for me to go back to, you need to kind of like, oh, where is that? I can't remember. Ah. So, you can actually just... Using a memory shard, you can capture where you are and automatically saves the map. And so here we go. There's a memory shard, you press down. Memory shard is created. So when I'm scrolling through here, I can be like, ah, cool, not a problem. There is that memory shard, right? And I can view it. There it is, there's my information about it. And if I'm done with it, and maybe I go back and get it, I can actually delete it. So it's leading or providing you breadcrumbs to go back to which is super cool I don't know my name is Faraba I'm Sargon oh that sounded impressive well Sargon I'm sure I'll share my discoveries with you when time crystals <laughs> welcome to Mount Car. and there we go so the other thing about the whack whack trees which are uh, important is this is actually also where so yeah it, it has refilled my life couple things it's refilled my life it's saved it's saved which is awesome this is also you're going to get like emulets and different abilities kind of like the one in the bottom corner of the zr that you actually can change out this is where you do that you can't just do them whenever uh, this is actually where you kind of have an opportunity to add abilities or change certain um buffs not buffs but um, features that you have that you're going to build uh, throughout it as well. So these are really cool. Walk, whack whack trees are pretty common throughout the game. There are tons and tons of them, so that, that's great. Um, and uh, yeah, so folks, actually, here's what we're going to do. That is 35 minutes of Prince of Persia, uh, the Lost Crown. This has been our first kind of look at it, first little bit. You should play this game. There's no like, de the demo is going to come out. Download the demo and play it. Um, I like I said. I've been playing it now for 13 hours. Again, big thanks to Ubisoft for providing it. I played it at PAX West and loved it then. I cannot wait for people to get their hands on this game and hear what others think of it because I am loving this game. I am a, I am in I am in on it. This kicking off 2024 with this game, man, Ubisoft has got a banger on their hands. I cannot wait for more people to play this game. I'm excited to talk about it when I'm not under embargo. Uh, folks, that is it. Thanks for tuning in to Nintendo Dads and our first look at Prince of Persia and the Lost Crown. Big thanks to Ubisoft for providing us this code. Looking for more Prince of Persia co coverage? Hey, we've got you covered. Check out some of the other videos on our channel. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.